Okay, okay, this one is the modern max from five I think the chapter is called gradients and area under a graph. Okay, I'm going to use like four to five minutes is possible to finish these questions. So actually I just randomly take one question from my reference book just to help the student refresh about this chapter. Okay, first before we start, okay, you have to understand this is called distant time graph. Distant time graph and speed time graph, what is the difference is if this one is distant, that means all this movement we call it distant. Okay, if this is a speed, if you want to find distance, you have to find their area. You have to find their area. So this one is distant, so you know it. Uh, the area of the distant time graph uh, doesn't mean anything. Okay, but then the the area for the speed time graph mean distance. Alright, so distant time graph is actually is quite simple. So this one is a distance. So let's say we know actually PQRS are the journey of the car. Okay, and then this one PRT is the journey of a van. So actually both both van and car also departs at the uh from the town X. So we know here is actually is town X. Alright. At the same time, so actually they depart at the same time. So this one actually is zero point eight hour, one point four four hour, and two hours. So for example, for two hour for two hour, the car actually uh already travel one hundred fifty km, and then for uh, for two hour, actually the van only travels like uh eighty km. Alright, so you roughly need to understand how, what uh how about uh. Roughly need to understand about the graph, lah. All right, and then when you see, when you see the intersection point, the intersection point over here actually means that both car and van will meet at this point. So both car and van, car and van will meet at their intersection point. All right. So we we know they will meet after they travel fifty km. So from here we we can know they will meet after they travel fifty km, or we can know after. Both van and car travel one point four hour. Actually, they will meet at the location R. Alright, okay. I hope you can understand. Then, okay. Let's say we, okay. Let's start to do. So rough. So first, I know this one. This one actually is for car. Oops. It's for alright. I, I this okay since you know. So yeah, just PQRS is for car. This one is for car, and then, and then what we know is all right. Then, ah, the PRT is for van. All right, so let me start to do over here. Okay, first he he asks you, he asks you state the duration in hour which the car is stationary. Stationary means ah、uh, means what over here? Stationary stationary means the car is not not moving. So this one is for car, right? So we know the car actually not moving from Q to R because from Q to R actually the car remain at a distance fifty km. So mean here is fifty km. While time is moving, you will see actually they still stay in the fifty km. Mean over here is called stationary, or or the car is not moving. Alright, so he asks you state the time of duration in hour. Which the car is stationary, so we knows the time is one point four minus zero point eight. Then we can got the time, right? So the first one is very simple. A, I just use, okay, yeah, time. I just write time will equals to one point four, okay, minus zero point eight hour, alright. So you you got zero point six hour, okay. Or you can change it to to the minute will be ah、uh, six multiple sixty you will got thirty six minutes. All right, so it's very simple. Whenever he asks you to state, actually you just write the answer should be off should be fine. All right, the second one, B over here he say calculate the average speed of the car for two hour average speed. So first you must know what is the formula for average speed. Okay, I write the short form for average speed. Okay. Average speed actually is just total distance, total distance divided by total time, total time taken. All right, this one is the formula for average speed, just the total distance divided by total time. So now over here he says he want to find the average speed for two hour for car. So 
So first, I have to see the car travel for two hours. Actually, he travel 150 km. Okay, the time using is two hours. Okay, 150 km divided by two hours, you can get the average speed. So actually, average speed is quite simple. So average speed over here will be okay 150 km divided by two hour so you got 75 km per hour all right so this is the average speed all right not really hard right so yeah you just need to understand what is the meaning for average speed and then yeah you just find what is the total distance for car and then in two hour all right just like that okay and then and then we goes to Okay, we go to part C. Okay, for part C over here, what he mentioned is at a constant time during the journey, both verticals are at the same location. So now he asked for same location, so we know same location actually they are. So this one is the same location. So he asked you find the distance in km between the location and the town X. Just now they mentioned actually the depart from the town X over here and then they're going to same location at R. So now what is the distance over here? Is from they actually travel from 0 to 50. Okay, both also travel 0 to 50, so it's very easy. So this one, the first one answer is find the distance. The location okay, so okay, distance. Okay, this one actually you can straight away right. Distance actually equals to 50 cam. All right, for the second part. Second part, the asked for state the time taken by the van to reach the location X. Now he asked for the van. All right, so van is this one. Uh, okay, it's PRT. So how long actually for van to reach the location R? We're going to have a look here. Yeah, state the time taken by the van to reach the location from the town X. So it's simple, 1.4 hour. So whenever he asks you to state, actually, you can straight away write the answer. You don't need so many steps. So you just write time taken by van will be 1.4 hour. Then you are done. All right. Actually, this is quite simple about the distance time graph. I hope this video actually can help you to refresh a little bit about the gradient and area under a graph. Thanks for watching.